Okay, hello, I'm back. So part two will continue here for my huge Dollar Tree haul. I just um, had recorded and realized it was over 16 minutes and I don't think that would ever upload to the internet. I don't know, I've never tried. I've never made a video that long. But anyways, I hope you enjoy th this next part of the haul. So continuing on with Forever in Time, they no longer have any more of these at their stores. Like I have not been able to find any of these little booklets. This was one random little find. The bottom of the shelf, it just has the little feather type prints and I believe I already have one of these but I had to grab another one because kind of versatile as well with the colors so pretty well they're pretty pretty oh he just ripped okay. all right so dog waste bags actually this one here i just opened as soon as i got home um it has four packs so there's four rolls of 20 and i just use these in the little pouch that they they have like a little container that the original package came with um you can purchase them with a the little package and i just use these on our walks up there i purchased another pack of tweezers you know what my daughter is getting to the point where she'll probably need a pair of tweezers not now but later on and they're really really good quality and it's hard to find a nice pair of tweezers i will even pay money for tweezers that work well and they don't work well so for a dollar 25 to have a nice elf pair of scissors of tweezers i'll keep this in her in her bathroom for the future so i also got some of this zip zapper elf i don't know it's clear <laughs> and I got some of this elf blush and I actually opened it it came in a white package and I had never seen it before and I just pur purchased it and it doesn't really have for me it's um I think I need more like of a rosy color this doesn't really show up on my skin at all oh but it has like a nice shimmer I don't think I'll be able to show you guys that but um it does have a cute little shimmer, like a pretty little shimmer. So anyways, there's that. And I purchased some of these little dot adhesive label, opened it up so that I could show you guys. Ah, that's too much stuff, too many things. Anyway, so they're just little sticky labels, but you can fill them up and turn them into little shaker pockets. And I, this is a repurchase for me, I love these. So, oh, I have it upside. So you fill them up with the little, um, you fill them up with little beads and stuff here and then you can seal it up with your Hues tool and you have a little shaker. I purchased some more of these, I actually purchased these for a friend, mechanical pencils and the Blue Jay and pens. So I already had purchased some for my son and now I have a couple extra. These were really, really fast. There weren't very many left at all. I grabbed an art canvas. I have a DIY coming up, so we needed an 8x10 art canvas. And I grabbed one more of these little boxes. Again, this is imported by, um, I don't know if this is Multicraft. It doesn't say Multicraft on here. I know the other packages of wood chip stuff or like wood is Multicraft, but now maybe I'm looking at this and wondering if it's not Multicraft. But anyways, it's a little wooden box. You can stain it, paint it, do whatever you want with it. You can use it for embellishment, swapping, all sorts of fun things to do with that. I also grabbed one of these little organizer boxes, Craft Medley, Multicraft. Again, I purchased it because it's going to be my daughter picked out this mug for daddy world's greatest dad I just thought it was cute she can fill it with something special and then give it to him for father's day and I think that's coming up in a couple weeks actually oh I bought some of these pastry this is a good value for us so the pastry crisps are five in a pack well there's ten bars in total but there's five little individual packages and I actually like them and the kids like having them as a snack. I sometimes send a little bar each in a container for them and to school. So I purchased three packages because this is a really good value. It's actually a better value to buy them at Dollar Tree than the big giant box at Costco. Is that crazy? Unless the Costco box is on sale, I think it might be worth it. But if the Costco box is not on sale, this is a better value. I also bought these. Has anyone tried them? 
Nature Valley is a good company and they normally carry pretty fun products. And they're definitely way more expensive at Walmart. But I have never tried these. They're called Biscuits Cocoa Almond Butter. If you've tried them, let me know if they're any good. Oh, I think I talked a little bit about um, the cheesecakes. Did I mention that the Fiber One cheesecakes I find way too sweet and almost synthetic tasting? I don't like them. The kids didn't like them, and so I won't be repurchasing them. But at least we gave it a shot. The Fiber One cheesecakes. The crumble has been a pretty good hit. My daughter doesn't like them. My son likes them, and I can deal with them. I mean, they're not real crumbles, of course, but they're um, not as sweet as the cheesecake. I repurchased some stickers this time. I have been super duper good. I have been super great with my shopping and stickers lately, but then again, I'm buying tons of other stuff. I had to repurchase this little set here. It's just too cute to pass up and there aren't, I'm not seeing these as, as often anymore. Kind of shop with me slash my favorite items at the Dollar Tree. You'll see that on the sticker shelf, they actually replenished these, and so I had to purchase another one because I haven't seen these since I bought them weeks ago. And cacti, cacti are so in, and they're just beautiful. They have all these pretty little glitter. Anyways, I really like that. And I purchased this for a friend, and actually I think I should have purchased some other ones for the teachers just to go with their gift card because uh, maybe not goals, but something a little prettier. But I love that gold foiling and this notepad is just it's just simple and plain and easy to put together in a little gift but I purchased another one of those and again with forever time these are one of my other favorite purchases which I probably don't share enough with you guys but it's the gift well, card set so there's always a pack of six cards and six envelopes and this craft paper and a little envelope well, sorry, the envelope and the craft paper, you just fold it. It's already pre-folded for you. A fantastic buy. Like, really, truly a great buy. And they cut really well on the Cricut machine. I made beautiful cards using this. Um, a shaker pocket type card and everything with it. It cuts really nicely in the Cricut machine or the silhouette, I'm sure. Um, so this was... I'm sad to see that stuff go, for sure. Really sad. Oh, I bought some more of this iridescent tissue, but then... I also found, to match, I got some iridescent um, gift ribbon. Now there's only like a hundred feet in here. It's not very thick. Oh no, it's pretty thick, sorry. So yeah, I just thought, what a pretty bow to go with some of this pretty stuff. I already started cutting up my other one. I had some plans for it and it's working out pretty good, but I was happy to find some more of that. And then, um... Oh my goodness, I'm talking so much, I need to replenish with water. It's kind of a good thing. This is a repurchase. I demolished the last one I per I bought. The Brookside Dark Chocolate Tart Cherry Crisp with Pomegranate Flavor. I'll be honest, I purchased this one and I purchased a Mango Coconut Crisp. And it was so, so, so hot that the, where I had left the other chocolate, it wasn't in my freezer type bag. It was in with the regular stuff and melted. And so when I went to try it, I melted it and I was like, well, I'm going to have to get rid of it. But a little piece of it was still kind of left intact. And I tried it and I'm not sure if it's because it melted. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. If you've tried the mango, co and I love mango and coconut, but for some reason the mix was just not going with the dark chocolate or something was off. This one I will repurchase if I see it again. I really do like it. And these are good till of September of 2018, so you have a few months if you purchase them. Although chocolate doesn't last with me. Okay, so my daughter is right into making slime, butter slime to be specific, and baking soda is one of the ingredients. So, I mean, they use a tiny little bit. But at least now she has her own little baking soda on the side to use with her slime ingredients. Um, and I also purchased Mr. Shaver, she has it with her stuff, the foam shaving gel for at the Dollar Tree. If you're making slime, if kids are making slime around you, definitely pick up that those bottles at the Dollar Tree because they are the least expensive um, that I have found. And you know how it is, slime lasts a few days and then it's pretty much discarded, right? So I purchased that and I purchased some of the shaving foam, but she's already using the, the shaving foam. And to continue on, I was so happy to find a few more of these lingering at this other Dollar Tree. And so I purchased 
one of each, just the three. Uh, the pink, white, and blue. So the pink is watermelon, the coconut scented, and the blueberry scented. Mm. Are you guys tired of my haul yet? My goodness, I'm exhausted. This is just like one receipt. Freaking forever goes on and on and on. Stress ball. That's what they call the uh, Shopkins is stress ball. Okay, so this was what I was referring to. See how it's a black packaging and it's e.l.f. product? I hear that this is better quality than the white packaging. I don't know much about it. I purchased two of these right away. They're lip definer and shapers and I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have only bought one. And the reason I bought two, I'll be honest, is because I use LA, I don't want to say LA Colors because I think that's LA Girl. I use an LA Girl lip definer product that I pay quite a bit of money for locally. I don't know how this opens up, sorry. And I was thinking maybe this would do the same. Oh, this is kind of, oh, okay, good. It has a cap. I was going to say, what the heck they sent? Um, it has a cap on one end. Okay, so it has like a little built-in sharpener. This is fancy. Really cool. So it's got like a lighter shape nude. I don't know if you guys can see that. With my dark hair, you probably see it better. And then it's kind of got like a... Yeah, they're both nudes. And these aren't exactly the colors I love. So I hope this works out. I'm not sure how to use a sharpener. I'm so challenged when it comes to makeup. Oh my goodness. My daughter will be teaching me in no time. I know it because I just have no makeup skills. Oh. So I purchased two of those, which will go here. I love this cream. I've been using it and I cannot say, like I can't, I will continue repurchasing. It's made by the Louche Beauty Care Premium Collagen Skin Cream Anti-Aging. I've seen it on Amazon selling for $15 for this little bottle. Um, it's sealed up so nicely, like they have the seals so you know that you're getting like your product is nice and secure. Anyways. I put this stuff on and I'm actually finding a difference. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe because I'm actually taking the time to put it on, but it sits on my desk. So if I'm on YouTube or Facebook or something and I'm just kind of killing some time, I'll take some cream and I'll lather it on after my shower at night. And it's, I think it's working. It's keeping my face moisturized. So I really do like it. I purchased another one of these little eyeglass repair kits and the reason isn't, I always love having these little mini tools on hand. One of these actually sit in my junk drawer. However, my daughter wears glasses and sunglasses and not her actual glasses that I would repair, but her sunglasses. Sometimes she'll just lose a little piece and I have actually felt repaired other little things in the house with these tiny little screws. So I purchased this package specifically actually for the mini little tiny screws and the little pieces that are in here. Uh, and however, I will keep the little mini tools now in my craft cart because these are, they come in handy. Like I use them all the time. I purchased some of the sequin. I don't know if I had this. No, I don't have this color. Um, I purchased them because I know they're going to be gone. Once they're gone, that's it again, because multi-craft. So these are the black themed and it's kind of white themed sequin. More multi-craft stuff. Okay, I purchased some of these glass seed beads. They come on a pretty string. However, I always transform them and turn them into embellishments and stuff. So there's that there. And then this pretty purple. Pretty, pretty purple one. It has all these little golds. And, oh, they're so pretty, aren't they? Do you like them? I love them. So when I saw them, and I went a little crazy, I started putting a bunch of them in my cart, and then I actually slowed down and put some back because I was getting out of control and I have tons of beads because I do drink catchers and I make little bead things, bead embellishments and little charm hanging stuff. So beads I have plenty of, but these, like, these big beads are so expensive at Michael's. So if you find a nice pattern at the Dollar Tree, grab them. And even these are really nice to mix in. So there was that. And I didn't really need to buy this because I have, uh, I realized once I was organizing my little embellishments, I actually had a little set of these, but these are versatile. I mean, you can do anything with them for crafts. So I purchased this because it was under the multi-craft umbrella. 
I also purchased another one of these. I already have one on my craft cart. You guys probably saw when I was showing you guys things, but this is the detailing scissors. More for fussy cutting, but they work really, really well. I've had any problems with mine. I tend to use it all the time, and I thought I better repurchase one because if my blade goes on the other one. By the way, a little tip with um, sharpening scissors. If you take a piece of foil and you take your scissors and cut that foil in sheets or whatever and just keep feeding it, you should be able to sharpen your scissors. So that's a little tip on my craft scissors. If I always, if I find that they're dulling a little bit, I'll just cut foil, like I'll fold foil a few times and then I'll cut through it. I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it actually sharpens it, but for me it feels like after that it glides through the paper a lot nicer. I love these uh, napkins. I purchased these and I actually, the other ones are already downstairs. These are the premium ones by the home store and I actually like to have these um, if you have like company over rather than my other flimsy ones that I buy, the bigger package from the Dollar Tree, I have these. These are much nicer quality. So always have to have, I always like to have these stocked up and you can't go wrong with the price. I purchased some freezies for the kids. Actually, I purchased this pack and I purchased the really tall long ones. It comes with, I believe, nine in a pack. We froze those already and we demolished them. I love freezies, especially this time of year. I don't know why, but... I just love having a freezy and I love giving the kids a freezy. These are made in Canada. They're made by Kisco Kids. Um, and there's 18 of these are the minis. There's 18 in a pack. Probably not the best value, but because I was at the Dollar Tree and I love freezies, I picked them up just to have on hand. So there's that. Okay, I I purchased these dot, dot labels. So these are new to me. I hadn't seen them or paid attention. Maybe that's more the reason that I hadn't seen them uh, but I purchased them for crafting and they're just little dots that are already re re they're not reinforced cement dots they're just little circles I guess they're supposed to be made for labeling but I'm gonna use them for crafts because they already are sticky and easy so if I'm layering and doing little fun things with a little white dots I already have something that I don't have to cut with my circle punch and then glue they're already pre-made how stinking cute are these? Look at them. They're the tiniest little bottles. Teeny tiny, like they're teeny. Like the size of my thumb, um, my, the size of my nail. They're so small. Um, and they're six pieces in a pack. And again, these are me, my multi-craft. I only purchased one because I thought, once I'm finished with them, I'm probably not going to be crafting continuously with them, but I'm starting to regret maybe I should have purchased two of these because I've never seen the size. I always find, you know, a little bit bigger, but these are adorable. And again, I, well, these are, I've never purchased, I don't think before, but I purchased lo luggage locks, again, for crafting, not for actual luggage, but I just thought, how cute are these to attach to like a little dangling charm I just thought even if you want to spray paint them or up them you can do so much to them right and they have like this cute little pattern on it so you can even paint them with gesso anyways I thought definitely for a craft I gotta use those um one of my favorite finds from all the Dollar Trees are probably and I was most excited for I am a scissor queen can you tell I just love scissors and I want to showed you my craft cart there's scissors of all sizes and kinds. And so I purchased this Westcott heavy medium light. It's supposed to be light fabrics, ribbon and thread, micro tip blades. I'm going to open it up because I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree. There's a five year warranty on them. Oh, look at that, imported by Greenbrier. So specifically now, almost like made for Dollar Tree? Could that be? And here I am super excited because they're Westcott. I don't know. Okay, let's see if they're any good. Let's see if they cut. So they open up pretty easily. And it says it's for fabric and stuff, but let's see if it cuts this paper. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it has like a cool tip. So anyways, scissors. That isn't my final thing. I realize I have another bag. Oh my God. Do I even? Do I even share this one in this haul? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get through it fast. 
Ah. Okay, I grabbed some more hydrangeas, some more of these, I don't know, zinnias. I had purchased a whole bunch of them, but they're hard to come across, so I grabbed some more. I need this for a DIY. I actually have a couple, and then I purchased another one because I, I need the... I needed more. Oh, here. So I wanted to show you I purchased a bunch of those as well, um, which I shared at the beginning, but they're all the same. This is a two-pack electrical tape. I just thought it'd be good to have on hand in case I need them for anything. Ha! These are the ones that I purchased more of. I thought I had opened them all up and already organized them, but this was what I was searching for everywhere. So I finally got the last six packages that I needed. And, oh my goodness, I was thrilled, thrilled to have these. So, I put all my little embellishments in them. They're little individual bottles, and they're screw tops, just like that. And I'll film a quick video to share with you what I am talking about and how I store my embellishments, because I, I love, love, love this system. So there was that. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I think I lost my crazy marble my marbles okay so so these were the other these, these are the other napkins that I like to have so I didn't have this one open downstairs I thought I did so this one here has 160 and I always like having them on the table so that's that and then I don't even know if I shared this with you guys because I had so many things in it that I think I tossed this aside I love these for under my sinks in to store things to have bottles on or anything and then I can just pull it out from underneath the sink or cabinets I love these so I always have I tend I've been buying them slowly here and there when I go into the Dollar Tree just to move things into them and have them more organized oh I purchased these I love these oh my gosh I'm a hot mess today I am such a hot mess right now sharing this stuff okay so I purchased these little pearls I don't even know if you can see them them there's the like a little there we go the sun is shining can see the little variety <coughs> oh my gosh am i losing my voice from talking the variety here these are made off for beads but again i use them in shaker pockets and all sorts of stuff this is like i don't think i've shared this much stuff with you guys ever this is nuts i went crazy the jot line i think that is slowly starting to show up with their craft stuff um, they have a new line of stickers it looks like I mean I've been buying jot stickers for quite some time But this was new and there was a whole bunch of different prints on this craft paper, but just the um, Just the uh, Little bicycles were so cute like look at that Anyways, Super cute so there was that one. Oh, I purchased the skewers. These are kitchen um companies they're the bamboo skewers my hands even feel grimy from touching all of these things are like ugh. so there's a hundred pieces and I have a DIY in mind to use with that so that will be coming soon mm, these look good should I try one right now because I think you guys had talked about this and then they're made by dare and somebody had asked if they're any good and when I saw them I was like oh my gosh birthday cake cookies let's try one right now I'm hungry crunchy things on the outside I was thinking more like they'd be more like a dunkaroo kind of I think that's kind of like what they've put together here. Maybe it's kind of like a Dunkaroo. Do you guys remember those little Dunkaroos? Mm. Okay. I'll be honest. It's kind of like weird when you bite into it. See here. It has these little chunks and stuff in it. Those are really hard. So when you bite into the cookie, it gives you like, oh my gosh, this is gross. Is it gross that I'm showing you my 
bitten cookie. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. See, like there's like little chunks. Anyways, maybe I'll cut into it and show you. There's like little chunks of stuff in it. Like, see? Mm. I'm not too picky. I like cookies. I'll eat the box. I know I will. Okay. It doesn't really taste like birthday cake, though. <clears throat> it's almost like a vanilla. Okay. I bought this giant 8, it's a what? 11 by 14 frame. I'm super excited to work with this. I have a fun, fun DIY thing to do with it. I really hope it works out. Oh, and I bought one of these, are 8 by 10. Yeah, and this is just like a frameless, it's just glass. And I have a DIY in mind for this one too. I have lots of DIYs in mind now just so I can get to them. Oh, this is going to be a heartbreak. I better not lose my acrylic paints from the, from the Dollar Tree. So I realize Multicraft carries all our acrylics. That's who makes the product that I purchased from, right? Color Factory. I immediately purchased this warm white because I use warm white in a lot of my projects. And I mix it with other colors to lighten it. For example the little love sign so I'd mix like cotton candy pink with the warm white and stuff just to um, I guess make things like not so bright has anyone tried this one this package weighs a ton it's called strawberry flavored cupcakes with cream cheese flavored frosting it includes the frosting and the pastry bag for a buck 25 here that was a really great deal I hope they taste good but I look I look I can even make a little, like a little, um, instead of a cupcake, I can even make a cake. And then I got some super glue. This one here is made in the US. I've been meaning to try this for quite some time. And I just thought, hey, it's an all adhesive glue seals repairs, water resistant. Why not try it out in some of my E6000 replacement type projects? And summer is here and that means the kids are outside playing on the rocks I have already used a few band-aids on um, children that are playing that have come and scrape their knee and stuff or their hands so I cannot say how I absolutely love stocking up on bandages from the Dollar Tree um, and this is a really great brand I don't even know how to pronounce it Curad uh, Curad Curad, I'm not sure, but they make such a good band-aid. So when or bandage, band-aid is a company. <laughs> and when you stick it onto their little body, it, it it's not coming off. Like they've been able to wash up too, and it's still sticking. So these are the extra large because you never know when you need them. And then they had, um, of course, I have them already stocked up quite quite a lot of them in my little safety kit, but <clears throat> just the regular size ones. A really good product. So I also went to the Dollar Tree over the last couple days and I shared my most favorite items that I stock up on and always buy at the Dollar Tree to save money. If you want to see that video, I'll link the card up above so you can see it. And until the next video, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.